Hi, my name is John, and I'm gonna die. Not like you think. Um, I, I'm I'm fairly average, I guess. I, I don't know. I have interests like everybody else. I have a job like most other people. I pay bills like most other people. I have dreams and goals and wants and desires, and. I live my life. I try to do the best that I can each and every day. Um, I like to ride my Harley when the weather's nice. I like to drive my Jeep when the weather's probably not so nice. Um, I like to get out and hike, and I like to go out and hike trails. I like to do various activities um, that would be considered extreme in some cases for the average person. For me, it's pretty mild, I think. I haven't gone skydiving, but I want to. I I have dreams. I have goals. I, I someday want to save. Thought I wanted to save the world. Let me let me back that up. I used to say that. Hi, my name is John. I'm going to save the world. And you know, I think I'm going to save myself and bring people with me. It's that simple. I'm going to do the best that I can and try to be that example and bring as many people with me along on this journey. And uh, it's going to be an amazing ride. It'll be one that will be memorable, at least to me and hopefully to many of you. Um, you know, I, I fit into so many categories of interests that I don't really fit 100% into one. Yes, I ride a Harley, but I'm not like most Harley riders. I have a few good friends that ride. Um, I love my Jeep. I love going out climbing stuff or taking, you know, trails. Uh, overlanding is a, is a thing that's growing again, and it's, you load up the Jeep and you just explore and find new places. Um, you know, I... I'm an Army veteran. I, you know, proud, love my country, uh, carry guns. I'm what you would consider the typical American male, I guess, really and truly, but I'm vegan. <laughs> and so I don't quite fit into any one mold, which is good. I don't think anybody should fit into any one mold. I think that as a person, you should find your way, and it's taken me 42 years to find my way in the direction that I want to go, at least for now, and I'll keep going that direction until it's not fun anymore, and when it's no longer fun, I'll change. I'll do something different. I'll uh, explore something new. I'll try a new avenue. Uh, veganism is definitely part of who I am. It's always going to be a part of who I am, and that's not going to change. That's the biggest thing in my life that I live my life by. It, it's one of compassion and love not just for animals, I, I have two dogs and I love them to death. Um, you'll see them probably in future videos, they tend to get in, they're like little children under your feet. It's adorable. Um, but I, I love all animals, human animals included, and, and the purpose is to love all of them. Um, one of the things that I hope to do through this project is to show vegans and non-vegans alike that just because you are vegan and a compassionate individual and you live your life based on love and compassion that you don't have to necessarily be one extreme or the other or I don't know I think there's a stereotype about vegans uh, I got into a discussion about nutrition one day and this lady asked me about food recipes and I gave her a few and she asked me if I had any that had any meat in them and I said well no I don't eat meat she gave me a funny look I said I'm vegan and she looked at me, she goes, you don't look like a vegan. I said, well, what does a vegan look like? <laughs> and she goes, I don't know, I guess skinny and weak? I don't know. Um, so, I mean, there's, there, there, I guess there's a perception of what vegans are like. I know a few that are crazy, and I think there are people that think vegans are crazy. Uh, and I've worked as a personal trainer, and the first thing I'm told is, I'm not going to go vegan. Well, I'm not telling you to go vegan. I'm telling you to pick up that dumbbell, and we're going to do this three or four more times until you're tired. And then we're going to pick up another one. So, you know, it's not about converting people. It's a fear that the people that I run across have that, oh, they're going to convert me to the vegan side. They're going to make me, you know, bring me to the dark side. Um, you should. I, I think it's a good way of life for, for anyone. And I will let you in on a secret. We have better cookies. But I, 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 I try to dispel myths about veganism. And part of this video is to dispel a little bit of a myth. Yes, my channel is Veggie Man, and I plan to go out and do different things and try different things and share them with you, but I don't think it's 
you don't have to fit one mold. You don't have to go out and kill animals to be a man. You don't have to go out and fish, and you don't have to slaughter pigs, and you don't have to do any of those things. Killing does not make you a man. Um, I know some that believe that you have to be that macho, hardcore person, and that's not true. I want to show people that you can be who you want to be and live a good life without fitting into a mold, because I don't fit into a mold. I have several vegan friends that are amazingly compassionate and loving people. They accept people for whom they are, and they don't try to change them. And when someone says, I'd like to make a change, I'm curious, could you talk to me about what you do or how you eat or how you live? Then they'll open up to them. And, and I'm the same way. If someone comes up to me and says, hey, John, I'm curious about being vegan or I'm curious about a plant-based lifestyle because I, I want to be healthier or I want to be a better person or I, I just feel like I need to do this, I'll mentor them. I've mentored many, many people and have helped bring them over to the dark side. And hopefully they hopefully they stick to it and it changes their life. I mean, for me, it's been a, a long journey, um, one that began several years ago. And I've been meatless for four years and I feel better. I have more stamina. I have more recovery from workouts. But there are social aspects that cause it to be a challenge. I have Harley groups. We go and meet up and we ride and we end up at some barbecue shack. And the, the ride is over when you get to the destination of you know, with the group that I ride with. And I find a way to order some french fries and a beer and I eat my food. And a few of them know me and if they look at my vest and my, my patches, they see that some of them aren't like the normal ones. And you know, some people have asked and the few friends that I have, they understand and they don't push it. And there's always a newcomer that's like, hey, try this, try this. And I politely decline and I don't want to get into it because it doesn't matter it doesn't have to it doesn't have to define every aspect of my life and that's that's important to me i don't want to be defined by one thing oh that's john the vegan or that's john the biker or that's john the mud crawler climber jeeper guy it's not important to me to to be fit into those molds it's important to me to have experiences that i like and to be able to share those experiences with like-minded people if even if the only commonality we have is we both like to go out to the park and walk around with our dog. If that's all we have in common, then that's all we have in common. We have, and it's okay. It, you know, life is made up of many, many experiences, and, and the spice of life is all those experiences and, and the people that you meet. And that's something that I believed 20 years ago, and I believe it's true today. So, to get back to what I'm saying from the very beginning and to wrap this up, my name is John, and I'm going to die. But all of us are going to die. If we're not immortal. The difference is, I don't have some disease, I don't have some illness, I don't have some death wish. I don't, I'm going to die at some point in my life. When I die and how I die, I don't, I don't have control over those. No one does, unless you're just crazy and you decide you want to take your own life, which, please don't do that. I can tell you that, yes, I'm going to die, but my life will be on my terms. And so when I die, my entire life will have been on my terms, or at least the great big portion of it. So the biggest question is, what kind of life do you want? What terms do you want? How are you going to die? How are you going to be remembered? And more importantly than all of it, how are you going to live? Hopefully, I'll see you on the dark side.